In the Philippines, women are selling their babies. A black market is flourishing, offering cash for kids. And social media platforms like Facebook make it even easier to find babies for sale. The very challenge there is how to track them when we see or monitor uh, illegal uh, activities online. In 2020, 1.53 million infants were born in the Philippines, among the highest birth rate in Asia. Around the same time, more Filipinos sank into poverty due to the coronavirus pandemic, which took away jobs. That means almost a quarter of the Philippines' 110 million population live off just $7 or 400 pesos a day. I'm in Tondo, one of the most populated districts in Manila and home to the biggest slum in the country's capital. Here, the poverty is due to lack of access to education, decent jobs, reproductive health care. Some mothers who struggle to make ends meet make the very difficult decision to give up their children. Olivia and her family have been homeless for more than a year now. The pandemic hit them hard. They earn a living from scavenging, but her husband suffers from asthma and is unable to work on his own without Olivia, who is now heavily pregnant. They're expecting their fourth child. So, how much do you earn a day? Ano, hindi pare pareho, minsan 300, 250, ganon. And lahat yon na pupunta sa sa na pupunta yon. Sa pagkain din, pagkain minsan sa gamot ng anak ko sa asthma. Where do you sleep now? Tricycle lang po. Every night. Every night. Lima kami buong pamilya. That's a tricycle. For Olivia, raising three children with no proper home has already been a difficult struggle. That's why she did the best she could to prevent future pregnancies. How many years have you been doing family planning? Anim na taon na. Kaya nga mangiya kaya ako nung nalaman kung buntis na naman ako. Disappointed talaga ako kasi. D- dapat talaga magpapatali na ako, like it. Eh, sabi ng doktor, bata para raw akong nadadagdagan para yung ano. Kaya ang ginawa ko, nagpa-implant na lang ako. Kaya ang kaso, sabi naman ng ano, kaya nabuntis ako, mali daw yung pagkalagay ng ano ko, implant ko, hindi maayos. The tricycle they use for scavenging broke down, putting even more strain on their livelihood. And as the rainy season nears, Olivia wishes for nothing but for her unborn child to never experience the same fate. Her solution is to sell her baby. Do you think you will be able to emotionally give up your baby? Kakayanin kasi hirap na kami sa buhay. Ayaw ko siya maalala. Kasi masakit din sa akin pagka inalagaan ko pa siya tapos ipamimigay ko rin siya. Mas maganda na yung pagkalabas pa lang, ibigay ko na siya. Papa-adapt ko siya sa ano, may ikaya din, ma- mabait yung hindi siya tata- ano yun ng ano, hindi siya minamaltrato. What would you like to receive in exchange for the baby? Eh, bahala na sila, basta makaano lang ako ng bahay namin, saka ng sidecar. Kasi ang pampagawa ng kasyang sidecar, ano yung sapong libo na eh. Tas mong upahan pa kami. And how much is rent? Ano, one, two. San libo, ganun. Per month? Per month. Legal adoption in the Philippines is a complicated and tedious process. The only way to do it is through the Philippines Department of Social Welfare and Development and its accredited child placement homes. Any other means of acquiring children is illegal and is considered child trafficking under Philippine laws. The legal route does not allow any monetary compensation for mothers giving up their babies. To get around the process, an underground baby market has cropped up. 
the word adoption is now commonly associated with the illegal baby trade on the black market. How about going through the legal process or an orphanage or perhaps the government? The underground baby market has become even more lucrative thanks to social media. The expansion of the market online allows more buyers to connect with desperate mothers whose whispers can only go so far. A lot of the buyers, brokers, and sellers hide behind fake accounts, especially when they transact on Facebook. Many of them go to Facebook groups, which are also named inaccurately, many of which hide behind the word adoption or orphanage group names. Vice World News has been looking through hundreds of these adoption posts online. Based on Facebook groups that Vice saw, there are more mothers offering their babies than the interested buyers. Mothers post about their expected month of delivery, location, and the gender of the unborn child, if applicable. Posts of interested buyers are often flooded with mothers who want to have their children adopted. But it isn't without a risk. In Facebook groups, mothers and buyers alike warn against potential scammers. Jamie first tried Facebook looking to adopt a baby. Ano po, before po kasi nagtitingin-tingin na kami sa online kasi may may friend po ako na nagsasabi na meron daw FB page or group na nairon daw nga po doon nagpapa-adapt. Tapos one time may nakita po kung doon sa page na yun na papanpon po yung baby niya. Pero hindi ko po agad siya grinab. Nagtanong-tanong din ako kung totoo ba tong taong to or scam. Tapos maraming nagsasabi na huwag yan kasi ganto ganyan na marami na siyang naloko na pag binibigyan ng pamasahe is hindi naman na nagpaparamdam or hindi naman talaga luluwas. Was there a price? Yung, yun po, yung isa pamasahe din. Yung the rest po, nasa 50, 40, yun na po yung hinihingi. This was the situation Jamie found himself in. Jamie is in a same-sex relationship with Nancy. They first looked for potential babies to adopt online and spent days on Facebook in search of a baby that they could take in. But it proved difficult to navigate. Luckily, they found someone in their neighborhood who was looking to give up their baby. And what was that process of adoption? Um, bali, ano po, nagkaroon po kami ng kasulatan sa kanya na yung ang, ang nangyari po kasi kasulatan na nag nagsasabi na bi kusang loob po nilang binibigay si baby tapos after po noon wala hindi na po po daw po sila na maghahabol hihingi lang po sila ng konting financial na tulong para nga doon po doon sa kapatid niya na naga-undergo po ng ano hospitalization niya kahit kahit na halaga lang naman po yung hiningi how much um 10k po is it difficult to adopt a baby in the Philippines, especially as a same-sex couple? Kung dadaan po sa legal process, mahirap po talaga. Talagang pahirapan po makakuha ng adoption baby pag sa same-sex na katulad namin. Talagang sisilipin lahat, lahat ng masisilip, isisilipin. So is this the best case scenario for you to have found a baby that you know and to have been able to get it quite quickly? Opo. Still others resort to brokers like Jenny, who can connect buyers to sellers and vice versa. Jenny knows how difficult it is to raise children. Three of her five children are in an orphanage because she knows that there, they are well cared for. While she herself has chosen not to give her own children up for adoption, she helps mothers who want to give up their babies to give them a better chance at life. What type of help do you give other women who can't afford to raise their children like you. Pag may lumalapit po sa akin na yung anak nila hindi nila kain, ganun din po. Yung bukal po sa loob nila para mapabuti yung bata kaysa pag-alagala. So you feel that by helping the kids find 
other parents. You're helping the kids and the parents. Opo. Nagpapasalamat ka pa nga po sila eh. Kasi nakikita naman nila eh. Yung mga literato ng anak nila eh. Kasi isip po ng iba pag ganyan, pinapatay po, inukuha yung laman ko. Pero hindi po nakikita nila to. Kaya nga po muna natutuwa sila eh. Kasi na, nakikita nila, nag-aaral. Do you ever get compensation for helping? Binibigyan lang po ako pang financial, pang gastos, pang bigas. Dalawang libo, isang libo. Ganun po. Pabigas din daw po. And how about the parents? Do they pay for the babies? Yung mga yun po, misal lima libo, sampu. Ganun po. Misal nga po, yung iba naman, ayaw nang nangingi ng, ano, ng kapalit po sa loob po. Jenny claims she knows all the buyers are good people and only entrust babies to people she knows. But not all brokers are the same, and not all buyers are like Jamie and his partner, people who have always wanted babies but are unable to conceive or adopt themselves. Some make an industry of the buying and selling of babies. According to some people we spoke to, some mothers purposefully get pregnant to sell babies and make money. Babies are sold for anywhere between ten to almost $3,000, while brokers can earn up to 40,000 pesos or $760 for helping buyers find babies. Not all babies, of course, end up in happy homes. It's a reality the authorities have to contend with. What do you know about babies being sold online, particularly on Facebook? We all know that the uh, commercial trade of uh, babies has been existing for like 10 or 15 years already, but, but th that is done face to face. There's a face-to-face uh, -face transaction between the buyer and the seller and sometimes the mothers of the babies. But now there's a recent uh, development, so to speak, because again of the high technology, with the use of the internet, this has been uh, a rampant illegal activity in, in online. With that, it's also easier for the broker, so to speak, to seek parents who are in need of uh, babies, families who need to adopt babies. And also, the internet or the social media has also been a medium for them to hide their uh, real identity. And, and so, uh, this is really a more convenient uh, tool for them to conduct their illegal activity. What are the challenges in convicting criminals or people online selling children or babies? I think the very first challenge is not really on the conviction of this, but on the unmasking of, of these people behind the fake accounts being used online. So the very challenge there is how to track them when we see or monitor uh, illegal uh, activities online. Second challenge is, is, is when we try to convict these people is also jurisdiction because some of our subjects or some of the people involved are abroad or not here in the Philippines. Do you have a relationship with Facebook? Are you able to request data or information from Facebook if the crimes happen on their platform? Yes, we have a law enforcement uh, collaboration with Facebook. We can request data from them. We can also request preservation from them if we have to uh, preserve uh, evidence that we see online. So yes, we work hand in hand with Facebook. They can help us in uh, unmasking or tracing or identifying people online. If you were to meet your baby in the future, how would you explain it to her. Ipapa itindi ko rin sa kanya yung kalagayan namin dati. Ngayon, kung bakat ko siya pinadam. Magigilty ka ba eventually or? Sure naman. Anak ko, anak ko po tayo. Kaya masakit din para sa akin na ipadap siya sa iba. 